Hey everybody and welcome back to the Skyrim Ultimate Modding Guide and I've went ahead and installed everything myself that we're going to be downloading and installing today and that is because I wanted to make sure that it would all work and decide what order to put everything in and kind of know what I need to tell you guys before I tell it. So um, this is the order we're going to be installing any, everything in except for one exception which is that I want to go ahead and merge the Moro Loot Ultimate patches soon and for that reason, I would want you to go ahead and install Inigo first so that we can then install the More Loot Ultimate Inigo patch so that we can then merge all of the More Loot Ultimate patches. And I did not do that. As you can see here, it's way down on the list. What we're first gonna do is merge some patches we've already got before we even download new things. And those would be the Audio Overhaul Skyrim patches because we've got so many of them. And we are going to be installing so many things that we need to reduce our load order as much as possible to cram as many mods as we can into our game. So with that in mind, what I first want to do is just get rid of this Book of Silence ESP because we don't want to activate this in our game as we are not going to be using the Emidium Born Skyforge Weapons.esp. So we're not going to use this patch so it's deticked. Now we want the files from it but just not the ESP. So if you click on it over here on the load order, right hand pane of mod organizer, it will highlight on the left side in the mods pane of mod organizer. And we can find it, double click, go to optional ESPs, and we could just move the audio overhaul Skyrim Book of Silence patch, since we're not using it anyways, to optional and close. That way we don't get confused when we're trying to merge these because it's going to be easy to find them all at once. And I don't want I don't want us to accidentally select that one as well for the merge. Okay, so now we're going to select SSE edit from the executables dropdown of mod organizer and select run. Now right click and select none. Now just type in the search bar audio overhaul Skyrim and that should highlight everything we're going to need. So here are all the lovely patches and let's make sure there aren't any strays anywhere. Yeah, I guess they are all in the same place. So loot loads them all next to each other. That makes it somewhat easy. So you're just going to select all of these audio overhaul Skyrim patches and select OK. Now, do not select the sounds of Skyrim audio overhaul Skyrim patch or the sounds of Skyrim natural atmospheric Tamriel patch as those are more considered sounds of Skyrim patches and we'll, we will deal with those later. Right now, just all of the ones that say audio overhaul Skyrim and select OK. All right, once the background loader has finished, left click and drag a box over all of the audio overhaul Skyrim patches and right click and select check for errors. In my case, and hopefully yours, I've got no errors. When you get all done at the bottom, right click and select apply script. Make sure merge plugins v1.9 is selected and click OK. Now you'll notice that XEdit has automatically loaded all of these Audio Overhaul Skyrim patches masters and that's fine, just make sure none of those are selected and that only the Audio Overhaul Skyrim patches are ticked off in the checkboxes and select OK. Now let's go create new file and let's call this so that Loot knows exactly how to sort it, Audio Overhaul Skyrim hyphen merged patches and select OK. That should be a pretty quick merge and it will maybe boot you back out to Mod Organizer. If so, just tab back over to XEdit and you should have a new patch on the bottom left side of XEdit here. You can right click and select check for errors. We've got no errors, so now we're going to close out of XEdit. Make sure that only audio overhaul Skyrim hyphen merged patches is selected and click OK. Now right click your overwrite bar and select create mod and let's call this audio whoops audio overhaul Skyrim patches merged and you can number this wherever you are now um, I'm numbering it after all of these simply because I've already got so many of these like ready to install and numbered um, so I'm just going to go ahead and number this 408 in my case although in your case um, it would probably be best to, where were we from last time? 354, so I guess 355, you could name it that, um, since you're going to be right under Imperial Sword 4K by Billy Rowe, and you could just number it there and then continue on from there, um, with the next step being Inigo and then the Moro Loot Inigo patch. 
but I'm going to name it 409 because I've already got all of these like in a good order and numbered. Um, but if I were doing this over again, I would have put this right after Billy Rose 4K Imperial. So, um, but it doesn't matter too much. So now let's tick the checkbox to activate that. All right, once your audio overhaul Skyrim merged patches .esp is in your load order and activated from the new mod we created over here, you can go up and we can remove all of these audio overhaul Skyrim patch ESPs. So double click the audio overhaul for Skyrim 2 that I have reinstall if change weather mod. And let's go in here to optional ESPs and move all of these to optional except for the main audio overhaul skyrim.esp and select close. Now click on audio overhaul skyrim unique uniques patch and it will highlight in the left hand pane of mod organizer. Find it, double click, go to optional ESPs and move the ESP to optional and close. And finally do the same for Zim's immersive artifacts audio overhaul Skyrim patch, clicking it in the load order of mod organizer to find it highlighted in the mod name area of mod organizer, double click, go to optional ESPs and move the ESP to optional and close. Now with that said, it is very important to note that one of our audio overhaul Skyrim patches were for uh, the weather that we have installed, in my case, natural and atmospheric Tamriel. Now, technically we're not supposed to install the weather mod till the very last, so that creates a little bit of a problem where you won't be able to run your audio overhaul Skyrim merged patches without a weather mod installed upon which that patch of audio overhaul Skyrim depends. Now you have two choices basically with this install. We're either going to do natural and atmospheric Tamriel with the MBT EMB or vivid weathers with the re-engaged reshade EMB. And so you might have to reinstall one of those patches depending on what weather you use, in which case you would need to do a new merge but you guys know how to do it now, so I'm going to trust you to do so, and if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments section below, because you might not like the natural and atmospheric Tamriel and prefer Vivid Weathers, in which case you would need to reinstall your audio overhaul Skyrim patches and then remerge them. So hopefully you guys know how to do that by now. Um, if not, ask me in the comments section below once you get to that point if you have problems with that because you will get issues if you don't install your weather mod till later. So I want to make sure you guys aren't doing that till later, but yet this patch we've just created will depend on a weather mod. And so, you know, in my case, you can either just deselect this when you test your game now or install the weather mod that whatever weather patch for audio overhaul Skyrim you selected depends on. So in my case, I selected the Audio Overhaul Skyrim Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel weather patch. Whatever you guys picked when you installed it will be what you have to have now since we merged it. Unless you guys decide to use a different weather mod, then you'll have to go back through, reinstall this, remerge those. But I just showed you how to merge, so that shouldn't be too hard to do. Like I said, if you have questions or want to know how to do that again, ask me in the comments section and I can help you out. All right, so let's move on. So if you haven't yet, begin by installing all of the mods linked in the video description below. And we're going to go in that order, starting with Better Dynamic Snow. Just continue numbering these from wherever you left off. My Audio Overhaul Skyrim Merged Patches mod I put way down below, but yours might be 355, in which case just name this one 356. In my case it's 355 because I put our newly created merged patch, like I said, way down below. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could put it, you could have put it right under Imperial Sword 4K Retexture. I just put it down below because that's where I was at in my numbering system and it doesn't really matter where the patch goes as long as loot sorts it correctly. So if that makes sense, just number this wherever you are in your order and just carry on numbering it from there. In my case, it's 355. Now make sure on the Better Dynamic Snow to select Static Mesh Improvement Mod Meshes, so SMIM, and the No Snow Under the Roof patch and select Install. Now install Killable Children. 
Now find and install your Killable Children RS Children patch. Now install a Realistic AI Detection Special Edition Lite version. Now install the Skyrim Skill Uncapper. Now when you get to Your Own Thoughts, or Y-O-T. So under Alternative Game Mechanics Vanilla, the first page, keep Yes selected and click Next. On the next page, just click Next. On the Installed Mods page, select Frostfall 3.41 Special Edition, which also covers Campfire. If you just select Campfire, it doesn't patch for, for Frostfall as well. The one at the top, entitled Frostfall 3.41 Special Edition, patches for both Frostfall and Campfire. So select that. Then select I Need 1.83, Hunterborn Special Edition 1.62, Wearable Lanterns 4.0.3, and select Next and then select install. Now install Sneak Tools Special Edition. Now install Hunters Not Bandits. Now install Beyond Reach. Now when you get to More Bandit Camps, on the main screen select the Explorers Edition and select install. Now install the Thieves Guild HD Armor Revival. Now install Wonders of Weather and when you get to the main installer screen, do not select either of the optionals, just select install. Now install lightweight head tracking and emotions. Now install simply knock special edition. Now install lethal traps and on the main screen, select lethal traps plus smilodon or however you say this, smilodon, smilodon, I don't know. Make sure you select lethal traps plus smilodon, smilodon. Smilet, <laughs> whatever that is, Smilodon, and select install. Now install follower trap safety. And you will notice you're overwriting some files, but that's fine in this case. We're overwriting some, some files from amazing follower tweaks that kind of do the same thing, or some of the same things, but not all of the same things. There is one extra script within follower trap safety that amazing follower tweaks doesn't have, and we do actually want it. So you can just let this overwrite the files in amazing follower tweaks. And move on to Skyrim project optimization. Install this mod and select OK. Now install SKSE64 INI pre-download v1.2 for lazy users. Now install Hunterborn and on the main page under compatibility patches make sure Campfire and I Need are both selected. On the optional patches leave them all deselected and click install. Now Hunterborn is going to replace a few dagger textures in our weapons merged mods, but that's okay. Just let it happen. Now install Convenient Horses. Now install Skyrim Souls unpaused game menus, and this is going to make things very difficult for us and very interesting for my playthrough as going into your items, your magic, any part of the inventory or any sort of menu screen will no longer freeze the gameplay going on about you. You will continue to get hacked up with axes and shot with arrows and bit in the ass by wolves and all of those wonderful things while you're trying to rummage through your menus. This should be interesting. This is one that I would say is very subjective. If you guys want the true modded to hell experience that I'm going for, you're going to do it. But if you're like a oh, dude, that's a little too much. I don't want to have to have three followers just to take out like one bandit. Then maybe you don't want this, but I'm going to get it for sure. I think it sounds interesting, at least for a while. If things get too hard, we can always untick it. Mod organizer makes that easy. So let's install that. Now let's install auto unequip shield to back. Select OK. Now let's install Visible Favorited Gear. Select OK. Now let's install Wearable Lanterns and select OK. OK, now when you've finished installing Wearable Lanterns, stop there. Do not move on with installing yet. We are now going to be able to merge the Your Own Thoughts patches into one ESP as we've got all of the masters upon which they depend in the game now. Wearable Lanterns. Hunterborn, Frostfall, I Need, and oh, that's the main, main ESP. 
Um, I'm pretty sure the Your Own Thoughts main ESP is probably going to need to come at the top. Um, just to be sure, let's go ahead and sort with loot now. Once we've sorted with loot, let's go into SSE Edit, select Run, right click in the main window and select None, now type YOT all caps in the search bar. Now select the YOT Your Own Thoughts ESP and scroll down to find more of them highlighted with your little YOT search and select Frostfall Module, Hunterborn, I Need, and Wearable Lanterns. Once those are all selected, click OK. So you're going to want to control click these for making absolutely sure not to also select the main YOT your own thoughts.esp. The first time I did this, I was rushing through this. You guys wouldn't believe there's probably like 14 hours of footage that's not going into this series. That's me figuring out the best way to do something, the best order in which to install something, the files that need to be removed to make this all work for you guys the best, or messing up on something or doing something incorrectly and then cutting it and then going all the way back like 20 mods earlier in the install process because I made a mistake and redoing it all and then recording a, a, like a second or a third video getting it right and this is one of those things the first time i did this i accidentally selected yot your own thoughts.esp since all of these are named yot i just was rushing through and not thinking about it and so instead instead of selecting just the four patches i also selected the main your own thoughts esp and merged them all together so no good don't do that do not do as i have done so you guys won't see that little video. You'll just see this one. But I'm telling you, there's probably, a, I mean, at least that's probably like 20 by now, like 20 hours of footage of me just figuring things out and doing things wrong. No, it's probably not that much. It's probably like, it's legitimately probably about eight hours or 12, eight to 12 hours worth of footage. <laughs> So you guys won't see that video of me messing up just this one. There's so much footage like that too. Uh, but anyways, so right click, just having those four selected. So Frostfall module, Hunterborn, I need wearable interns and select check for errors. You should get reported back all done and no errors reported. Now right click and select apply script. Make sure merge plugins V1.9 is selected and click OK. It will load up those plugins plus all of the masters upon which they depend. Just make sure that the only boxes checked off are the patches, the four patches, Frostfall, Hunterborn, I Need, Wearable Lanterns, and select OK. We're going to create a new file, click OK. And to title this similar to how the um, patches for your own thoughts are titled so that Loot will know how to sort this merged patch, we're going to call this YOT hyphen merged patch and select OK. Now, when XEdit is done, in my case, it kicks me out to Mod Organizer for some reason. I don't know if, it's do, if it does that for you guys, but anyways, tab right back over to XEdit. And on the left-hand side, we should see our brand new mod, our new ESP. Right-click that merged patch and select Check for Errors. You should get no errors reported. Now you may close SSE Edit and just make sure that only your yot mergedpatchesp file is selected and click OK. Now right click the overwrite bar and select create mod and call this your own thoughts patches merged. And in my case, I'm gonna number this 410 simply because that's where I am in my install since I went ahead and did all this before making the video. Um, and the reason I am doing this is it doesn't really matter where this goes as long as loot in, uh, sorts our merged patches properly. So you could have this way, way up here, wherever, where are you guys at now? Uh, the uh, wearable lanterns. So I could have this right under wearable lanterns. The only reason I'm not dragging these two new merged patches all the way up to just under wearable lanterns is because then I would have to renumber all of these. And like I said, it doesn't really matter where you have these um, as long as loot is sorting your patches correctly in your load order. So now we're going to go and we can disable each of these individual your own thoughts patches. So as usual, if you click the ESP in your load order in the right hand pane, it'll highlight the mod from whence they come in the left hand pane to making it easier to find. So we can double click that, go to optional ESPs and now move all of these 
ESPs except for the main Your Own Thoughts ESP into optional. Very important, do not move the main YOT Your Own Thoughts ESP into optional. Leave it in available and select close. Now we've just lightened our load order a little bit more. Now moving on, install the Notice Board Special Edition. And now install the Notice Board Better Solstheme Quests. And now you would think we want to put the Notice Board Redefined 4K, which is an old RIM mod you'll have to install from the archive installer, by the way, next. But actually we want to do Organize Bandits of Skyrim next because it has a patch for the Notice Board and we want to retexture all of it. And just in case Organize Bandits in Skyrim replaces something in the Notice Board, we want these textures in 4K to replace that. So now install Organize Bandits in Skyrim Special Edition. Now, on the main installer screen for Organized Bandits in Skyrim Special Edition, just make sure main OBIS mod is ticked off under the main files. And then under add-ons, we are going to, going to want to select the patrols add-on and the notice board add-on that will add compatibility for the notice board, which we, which we have just installed. Now select next. On the next screen, select none of these patches, leave them all deselected. Unless you intend to install Sands of Time Ultimate Deadly Encounters, I don't simply because I have found that with all of the other mods that I have in my load order, Sands of Time is um, problematic, let's just put it that way. Not that there's anything wrong with the mod itself, I hear really good things about it. And if you guys want to try it, go for it. In my case, I'm not going to select any of these patches on the next screen, I'm just going to hit next. And list of OBIS bandits, that's an extra. It will go into the docs file. It will go into the docs folder so you can read all about all of the bandits that are added to the game. And so you might want that. I kind of want that. So let's hit next. And that's it. Hit install. Now go to your archive installer and find an archive called the Notice Board Redefined 4K and select open. Now after the notice board redefined has been installed, right click and select open in Explorer. Then go to wherever you downloaded SSE NIF optimizer in previous episodes of this series. If you don't have it, get on the Skyrim special edition Nexus and do a search for SSE NIF optimizer and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you should already, I'm pretty sure we used this before in the series, but at any rate, once you have it downloaded, double click the executable to run it. And we're going to browse for this 382, the notice board redefined 4K. That was an old RIM mod that we just installed. The reason being that because it's an old RIM mod, we want to optimize the, the meshes within for Skyrim Special Edition. So click browse in SSE NIF optimizer. Go to wherever your mod organizer mods are stored and scroll until you find the Notice Board Redefined 4K and select the Meshes folder and click Select Folder. Once you have the Meshes folder selected and loaded into SSE NIF Optimizer, simply click Optimize at the bottom. It will very, very quickly run through a couple of NIF files and you're done. And then you can simply close it and close both windows. Then activate the Notice Board redefined 4k or if you had already had it activated just deticket and reticket now moving on find in your downloads tab show race menu alternative and install it now install multiple floors sandboxing select ok and tick the checkbox to activate now we're going to install some followers so first install inigo then install Sophia, the funny voiced follower, and you're going to have to right click the data folder to select it and click set data directory. When you get looks good, select OK. Now install recorder standalone fully vo voiced follower, select OK. Now install Ambriel, the lost princess, fully voiced and quest SE, select OK. Now we're going to install Tokata Follower SE. We want to select Install Tokata Follower and select Next. UNP or CBBE Body. For this one, I'm going to select CBBE, which is Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Edition. And that's because I use, all, almost all my other characters are going to be UNP, so it'd be kind of nice to mix it up and have some variation. So select Next. And 2K or 4K textures, I'm personally going to do 
4k um, i might recommend for medium rigs or if you don't have a very powerful computer to do the 2k version select next now under the elisif the fair replacer um, you can install the replacer or not it will replace her with the looks of takata if you do that you can also use the replacer and the standalone together um, i'm just going to do do not install replacer and have her just as a standalone character and select install now find and install Eex White Run Interiors SSE. Select OK and tick the checkbox to activate. Now find and install Eex Mesh Fixes for War Maidens and select OK. Now tick the checkbox to activate. Now find and install your Eex White Run Interior Alternate Start Patch. Select OK. Now find your Eex White Run Interior ICAIO patch, which is Immersive Citizens AI Overhaul, and select OK. Now install your Moro Loot Ultimate Inigo patch, since we now have Inigo installed, select OK. Now install Forgotten Retex project and make sure Main Files is selected, and under Optional Files, leave them both deselected and select Install. Now we're going to install smoking torches and candles. Now when you tick the checkbox to activate smoking torches and candles, you'll see that once again some files have been overwritten. However, in this case, it's all fine and dandy. So just leave that one alone. And now let's install torches cast shadows. Select OK. Now that we've installed smoking torches and candles and torches cast shadows, we're going to install the torches cast shadows smoking torches patch. Select OK. Now install Beyond Skyrim Bruma Special Edition. Select OK. And now, very importantly, install the Beyond Skyrim DLC integration patch and select OK. Now, if you want them, install the Beyond Skyrim Bruma Signs Static Mesh Improvement Mod patch to Static Mesh, to static mesh Improvement Modify the uh, signs for the Beyond Skyrim Bruma mod. Now install the Beyond Skyrim Ordinator patch. Since we do have Ordinator installed, that just fixes um, something to do with a perk that you need to pass one of the quests in Beyond Skyrim. That Ordinator replaces that perk with something else, so the perk you need to finish the quest doesn't exist. So this patches it so that you can use the perk that Ordinator replaces the vanilla perks with, or something like that. <laughs> so install that one, select OK. Now install Helgen Reborn. Now install the Forgotten City. Now at this point you will notice that even with all of our mod merging efforts of merging all of our weapons mods into one, all of our armor mods into one, all of our big patch, lengthy patches into one, our jewelry mods into one, and our artifacts mods into one, we are still at 235 mods, which means we are fast, very fast, approaching our 255 mod hard-coded limit. Now, of course, we actually technically have many, many more mods than that installed, and we've done a great deal of effort to merge them so that the ESP limit is lowered, but Skyrim has a hard-coded 255 ESP and ESM limit. Now, that does not count textures and meshes. So for any mod that's a simple texture or mesh replacer, Obviously that does not count. That is only ESPs and ESMs, but it is hard coded. There is no way around it other than to merge patches, which we have been doing, but there's th those are still merged into ESPs and ESMs of which you have a limit of 255 period. There's nothing you can do about it. In fact, uh, I don't think loot or SSE edit or Rybash will even load up properly. If you've got more than 255 ESPs in your load order. So, what are we going to do when we get to 255? Well, um, we can try to merge a few more of these. We can, for instance, merge some of the organized bandits of Skyrim patches. There are only two, though. We can merge some of the RS Children patches, the, uh, the More Loot Ultimate patches. That would be a pretty big one. There's like five, six, seven of those. And there are a couple of other little things here and there that you could potentially merge, but we're getting pretty close to a point where there's 
not going to be a whole lot else we could do. You could try to merge the ethereal elven overhaul patches into one, but I tried doing that and it was not good. And I don't remember what exactly happened, but oh, I think, yeah, the game wouldn't even load. Like Skyrim would not load, it would not even open. So I wouldn't recommend merging your EEO patches. But all I'm getting at here, guys, is that we're almost at a point where we're just plain done because we can't do a whole lot more to lessen our load order. But we're going to keep going on a little bit more and see what we can get in there. All right, moving on from Forgotten City, let's install the RS Children Patch Compendium patches. And there are a lot we're going to need. So make sure Beyond Reach is selected, Cutting Room Floor, False Scar, Helgen Reborn, and if we can fit this many mods in, we're going to do Legacy of the Dragonborn as well. But for now, I would leave that unticked. But put a note if you need to, to remember, as I've done, reinstall if Legacy of the Dragonborn. This is so that we know that if we can install Legacy of the Dragonborn before hitting our hard-coded mod limit, which is still up for question because I'm doing things a little bit differently this time than I did in my last modded playthrough. So leave a note here, or just remember it in your head, that if we do end up being able to install Legacy of the Dragonborn, we'll need to reinstall this with that patch. Right now I'm kind of thinking we won't be able to get that in as well and still hit our be under our hard-coded mod limit. So leave that one unticked for now, just remembering whether you type it here or write it down or however you remember that we'll need to reinstall this if we can get Legend or Legacy of the Dragonborn installed, which I'm still not sure on. <laughs> it's coming down to the wire, guys. Now select Populated Skyrim Hell Edition and the Forgotten City and select Install. Now let's install Skyrim Better Roads. On the main options screen, select all the roads and bridges and click Install. Now let's install No Snow Under the Roof. And now we're going to install No Snow Under the Roof Bug Fixes V1.3. And we're just going to want to select all three of these main files. The No Snow Under the Roof Snow Ground tra Transparency Mesh Fixes, the Additional Transparency Mesh Fixes, and the main No Snow Under the Roof Bug Fixes V1.3. And select Install. Now install No Snow Under the Roof Fixes 15635-1-0, select OK, and tick the checkbox to activate. You'll see that it is overwriting some files in the previous bug fix we just installed. So you're like, well, why do we need both then? Well, here's why we need both, because this has 107 non-conflicted files, additional files, um, that are fixes to No Snow Under the Roof. So get them both. Now install the No Snow Under the Roof BFB exterior fix, which is Bleak Falls Barrow exterior fix. Select OK. Now install Halarkin Creek No Snow Under the Roof, because as you'll remember, we installed Arthmore's Halarkin Creek, and so we need the No Snow Under the Roof to patch that uh, to be compatible with Arthmore's expanded Halarkin Creek, expanded version of Halarkin Creek. So install that, select OK. And then likewise install the Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof patch, which if you'll remember Whistling Mine was another one of Arthmore's expansions, and we want No Snow Under the Roof to be compatible with the new expanded Whistling Mine, so we'll install that patch, select OK. Now install the No Snow Under the Roof Cutting Room Floor patches, which patches the added Cutting Room Floor content to be compatible with No Snow Under the Roof, and select OK. Now we're going to do something a little interesting, which is that we are going to redirect the Hellarken Creek No Snow Under the Roof patch and the Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof patch to have Arthmore's Town expansions merged, the mod that we merged a long time ago, if you'll recall, as the master rather than Hellarken Creek as the master. So let's sort with loot before we attempt to do so. Now this is very important, in order to change the masters of these two No Snow Under the Roof patches, we need to actually re-enable those original Hellarkin Creek and Whistling Mine, if I can talk, ESPs into our load order momentarily. Hopefully that won't put us over the mod limit, or SSE Edit won't load <laughs> properly. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be okay, but that is something to be cognizant of, guys. So. Let's find, I went too far. 
Okay, so Hellark and Creek, let's double click that, go to optional ESPs, move optional to available, close. And Whistling Mine, optional ESPs, down to available and close. And then I guess we should have sorted loot after that. Sorry guys, click these to activate and sort with loot. All right, after you have sorted with loot, run SSE edit, right click in the main window and select none. Now find our Arthmore's, I cannot spell for the life of me today. Arthmore's towns merged, very important, click that. Now find Hellarkin Creek and the Hellarkin Creek No Snow Under the Roof patch, and select OK. Remember we have to do these one at a time, so do not yet load the Whistling Mine and Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof ESP. We're going to do Hellarkin Creek first by itself. Oh, you're also going to need to select No Snow Under the Roof, which is listed as Prometheus underscore no underscore snow. Under <laughs> so you might have a little hard time uh, finding that. Just search for no underscore or Prometheus. At any rate, so here's what you need selected. Prometheus, no snow under the roof. Arthmore's Towns Merged, our merged, merged mod that we created earlier. Hellarkin Creek and the Hellarkin Creek, no snow under the roof ESP and select OK. All right, once your background loader has finished, go into the Hellarkin Creek, no snow under the roof patch and click file header. And under the master file Hellarkin Creek, we want to right click and select edit. Select yes, I'm absolutely sure. And let's put in here instead of Hellarkin Creek.esp, Arthmore's Towns Merged.esp, spelled exactly as we have spelled that mod. And this is very, very important. I can't stress this enough. It has to be exact, case sensitive, space sensitive. You might have named it differently, differently than me too. So take note of what your actual merged towns mod was named. Very important. In my case, it's Arthmore's with, with a capital A R T H M O R R M O O R apostrophe S capital T in towns space all caps merged dot ESP double, triple, quadruple check that that is all exact and correct and select OK. Once that has finished, Close SSE edit, making sure that only Hellarkin Creek No Snow Under the Roof ESP is selected and click OK. Now we're going to go into the overwrite folder and create a new mod from this and we can call it Hellark... I don't actually know how to spell that. <laughs> okay, uh, I think it's C-H-E-N, Hellarkin Creek. Oops. Um, no Snow Under the Roof patch. And I'm just going to put this as it's going to make the other one obsolete. I'll put this at 411, which is the same as the mod that originally did this that we just altered was numbered, which yours might be a different number. Does that make sense? You're going to take out the other one that's it's also named Hellarkin Creek No Snow Under the Roof and just need this one. So you can put it basically at the same number. Now select OK. Now it's going to be at the bottom. So I'm going to drag it up to where the other one is. And you'll notice the other one now has nothing in it and it has gone gray and mod organizer because mod organizer is like, we don't know what to do with this. There's nothing in this but a meta INI file. So you can actually deactivate that now. Now we're going to do the same thing for whistling mine. So let's go into SSE edit and run it. Right click and select none. Just like before you need the no snow under the roof which is listed as Prometheus. And just like before you need our Arthmore's, if I can spell it correctly, towns merged. But this time you need Whistling Mine, the Whistling Mine main ESP and the Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof ESP. Now select OK. Now click on your Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof ESP and click on File Header. And under Whistling Mine we are going to right click and select Edit. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. And just like before, naming it exactly as your Arthmore's Merged Towns is named, whatever you named it. For me, it's going to be capital A, Arthmore, apostrophe S, space, capital T, towns, space, capital merged, all caps, dot ESP. And I'm going to double and triple and quadruple check and make sure every single letter is correct and in the right case and select. I'm still checking. <laughs> Just want to make absolutely sure. Select OK. 
Now close this, making sure that only Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof ESP is selected and click OK. Now in the overwrite bar, we will have a new mod. Let's right click and select Create Mod and call this Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof Patch. Whoops. And again, we can number this the same as the other Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof Patch that we've just altered was numbered. In my case, 412, it might be different for you. Select OK. Now tick to activate and move it under the other Whistling Mine No Snow Under the Roof Patch. And then we can just deactivate that one. Now that you've done that, we can go back all the way up in our mods and find Halarkin Creek and Whistling Mine. Where are they? Where are they? Here we go. Whistling Mine, go to optional ESPs, remove or move Whistling Mine ESP to optional ESPs and close. Double click Halarkin Creek and go to optional ESPs, move Halarkin Creek ESP to optional and close. I'm kind of curious, leave me um, a, a comment in the comments section below answering this question. Did you guys think that modding Skyrim to this degree would be so complicated? Did you already know? Do you have some experience with it? Did you have no idea? Are you in over your head? How do you feel about all this? Let me know in the comments section. Now I want you to install Skyrim Unlimited Rings and Amulets SSE. Select OK. Now install Majestic Mountains and install the main files. The moss rocks and under sun direction leave none selected as this will work best with EMB and there may be conflicts with EMB if you select either one of the others. Now select next. Now select the SMIM compatibility patch and select next. And select install. Now install Majestic Mountains LODs and select the LOD resolution based on your video card's VRAM. In my case, I'm going to do 2048 and select install. Now go to your downloads tab and find Vigilant Special Edition. Find the data directory, right click and select set data directory. When it says looks good, select OK and install and tick the checkbox to activate. Now find the Vigilant Voiced English add-on from your Downloads tab and install it as well, overwriting certain files within Vigilant Special Edition. Now install Left Hand Rings Modified. Under the main options screen, make sure Left Hand Rings Modified is selected and under Models and Textures, select Gemling Queen Jewelry. And under the optional, make sure both unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and first person view for left hand rings are both selected and click next. On Rings of Blood Magic Setup, leave it on option one and click install. Now install Refracting Stall Rim Armors and Weapons. There is only one main install option here, just select install. Now install Andromeda Unique Standing Stones of Skyrim. Now install Improved Dragon Priest Masks Special Edition. Now install Stalrim 4K. Now install Spells Emit Light, and I'm going to do the dim version. Uh, you can select whichever one you like here. I feel that the standard and bright are both just a little bit too bright. Definitely too bright on bright. And I feel the standard is a little bit too bright as it looks about, well, as it says in the description, about as bright as a torch. I don't necessarily feel like a little magic glow coming from the hand should be quite as bright as a torch, but that's up to you guys. I'm going to select a dim and install. Now install Improved Bards Special Edition. Now install Ash Pile Retexture. After the Ash Pile Retexture, select Loot from the Executables dropdown and sort your load order. Absolutely do not at this time attempt to jump in and test your game. Wait until after the next video and I will see you guys then. Bye.